hello and welcome back to my channel i'm very glad that we have made time to visit this channel today this section is going to be another insightful one for you because i have a very wonderful brother here who is coming to introduce us to a different program and a different university altogether and it's going to help you a lot so before we start get your pens your notepads and then let's zoom into the show today so bro you are welcome to our voice today. thank you francis all right <laughs> So you allow him to introduce himself and then we take it from there. Well, thank you once again. Um, my name is Rich Monsafo wow. from Ghana. Wow. Or Sacrum to be precise, you well, know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, I was, as, as I said, I was born in Ghana, raised okay. in Kumasi. Okay. Um, I started my basic education in Rose of Sharon Presbyterian School at okay. Santasi, okay. where I proceeded to Barikesi Senior High School. Wow. And after that, I did my bachelor's in accounting at the University of Education, Winneback, oh. Marse Campus. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. And now I'm studying um, international management okay. master's at Hart TV, okay. University of Applied Sciences, Dresden. Okay, wow, yeah. wow. It means a different school, but in the same city. The same yeah, city, yeah, yeah actually, Dresden. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I also attended uh, University of Education. Oh, yeah, really? but mine was. Mount Pong Campus. Mount Pong. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. My oh, nice. Mount Campus. <laughs> All right. So that is HTW Dresden and yeah, then International, yeah. Management. International Management. How did you learn about this program? How did you come across it? Well, actually, I was looking for um, a, a, a program that is related to my bachelor's. Okay. And okay. I realized that most of the um, courses here in Germany okay. are economic program sure sure, and sure a lot it's of easy them. it's not easy to come by an accounting program yeah. directly okay so it's either you apply to a business course okay. as a whole so after going through my search engine tools i realized okay. that when you apply for a business program like international business or international management okay um i'm going to um i'll be able to you know measure with the accounting program okay. which i did during my bachelor's okay so i started searching for those program at my german university dot okay. com and sure. D -D -A -D. D -A -D. yeah wow. which wow. i came across three universities okay. offering um both international management and international business okay sure. okay okay it's a, it's a it's a very good key that you are giving because when some let's say someone has done business administration the person wants a master program which is business administration it means that it's not always the case it's not always yeah the case. you might get programs which when you go into details you see that no it is still in the business sure, administration line name or, wow yeah. wow wow that's really good so tell us the structure of this program how is it how many semesters and then yeah the structure okay actually this program is a great semester program okay. that's 90 ECTS okay yeah so okay. for the first semester I'm going to be in Dresden, study six courses, okay. um, which will be 30 ECTS. Okay. And for the second semester, it will be a semester abroad, which is actually sponsored by the Erasmus Scholarship. Wow. Yeah. So for me, I'll be going to France for my study abroad. Wonderful. And the third semester is going to be for your master thesis. Okay. That's okay. how the program. But actually, because the courses are intense, yeah. the school has, um, you know, set this flexible, flexible way for you yeah. to study, to stretch it to at least five or ten semesters wow. in five years. <laughs> so depending on how comfortable you yeah. are, you decide on the number of semesters you want to attend, but actually it's just three semesters. Three semesters, okay, okay. Okay, so in case you were confused about the ECTS that you're studying, they are credit hours, yeah, credit, credit hours. hours. So my, 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 my program is two years and then I'm taking 120, 120. credit hours. Yeah, so it's only it's one and a half and then it's taking 90, 90 credit. But you still have this flexibility that I've made a video on that you can, compl you can plan the study by yourself and then decide when you are going to complete school. Yeah, that is. And then you said, you, you spoke of a semester abroad. Sure. Wow. It means this, this program is really packed. Yeah. yeah it's they really, are giving really you packed. one free semester abroad. They are going to sponsor you. Sponsor you. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is really good. This is really it's, good. It's, it's, that's actually one reason why I chose this program over the others. Over schools. the others. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what was the mode of application? Was it through Uni Assist? Was it through post or directly online okay so as i said earlier i applied to three schools three schools yeah okay. this program was actually fully 
Uni Assist. Uni Assist. Yeah, okay. Uni Assist, okay. where I have to create an account. Okay. S submit my documents, to, document them to them and yeah. pay the 75, 75 euros and yes. leave everything to them. Oh, okay. So, okay. but for the other school, um, one was um, online. Okay. Through the university online, okay. and the other school through us. Um, I applied for VPD from Uni Assist. Uni Assist. Then I sent um, I sent it to the okay. university. Okay. For, but for this program, it was fully Uni Assist. Oh, okay, okay. So Uni Assist, you paid. I've already made a video on. Oh, yeah, great. so yeah, I you think would, I've watched it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then yes, you you talk about how we met and those things. Sure, yeah, sure, sure. He, he actually met me on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. and then. Finally, he is here, and then we are here to make this video. I'm, I'm waiting for you so that you also come and then we make this video. Yeah. Exactly. So, you applied to three universities. Sure. Yeah, three universities. How did you receive any rejection? Or well, actually, I, um, I received admission for all the three schools wow. from all the three schools. Wow, yeah. all the three schools admitted you. All the three. That schools, is very yeah. good. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. That's that's really good. So one was through uni assist, like the full one, wow. and then one was VPD, but it's still uni assist. uni assist, and then the other one was directly online. online. All right, so take us through, okay, you've already done that. I was going to ask of the uni assist application, but I think yeah, you've yeah, done yeah. that. You pay the 75 euros, euros, and then the subsequent ones, you pay 30, 30 euros. euros. All right. So what made you stand out? What made your application stand out that you received three well, um, admissions because it's not easy <laughs> yeah it's very really easy well um you know i had received advice from people that okay. to get admission here in germany you have to apply to so many schools, so many schools. so that in case yeah. one rejects you get the yeah. other ones yeah so after going through i actually wanted to apply last year okay winter semester and okay. i got some rejection okay for my first school. so i sat down and okay realized that the germans um obey rules okay. and regulations okay when they say they want this they want that yeah that's if that you don't want. meet any small requirement or yeah. any specific requirement you are going to get a rejection yeah, yeah, yeah. so what i did was i go to a university website okay. take their course read everything on their website Wonderful. read all the requirements and yeah. make sure i have everything or, yeah, have everything. or i meet all the requirements yeah, that was yes, what yes, i did yes, yes, yes. so this school for instance they wanted um um, at least 2.5 GPA, GPA in the German grading yeah, system, yeah. which I converted mine and mine was 1.8. Okay. So I met, yeah. I checked the the um, English proficiency okay. requirements okay. and okay. I realized they, um, they wanted um, a proficiency from the school from university the school, yeah. was okay. Yeah, yeah. So I checked all those requirements and okay. made sure that I meet all of them. Okay. And another requirement was the motivational letter, sure, which sure. I think stands out. Very because important. Because if the school is, I mean, looking for, there's only 30 study places for all of us and all meet the requirements. Yeah. Obviously, they are going to select students sure. based on their motivational letter. That is it. So what That's I did was I go through several websites, okay. search on how to write a standout motivational okay. letter. All right, all right. I wrote it and then send it to three different people to okay. also go through to edit it for me wow. in fact my <laughs> boss was really good to me yeah. uh, mr ben i appreciate him so okay. much i'll send okay. it to him and you go through and tell me that oh change this grammar okay. put this in put this in yeah. so i think my motivation motivation Give you to, a yeah, lot yeah, of credit, lot of credit yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. because yeah. as i said earlier if i'm competing with francis and francis we have the same gpa the same profi uh, proficiency and yeah. all that Definitely, they are going to pick one ahead yeah. due, um, based on the motivation. The motivation like. Like. So, okay. with the three schools, that was what I did. Okay. So, I could have actually applied to 10 schools okay. or more. Yeah. But these three schools, you were I read, really yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. I was that really sure that I was going, going to get to the get, admissions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, indeed, I, I had the admissions. You had the admissions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for this enlightenment. You have really enlightened us on this what made his application to stand out before the admission committee that is what he has told you so how, how was your visa acquisition experience oh okay yeah well, did they stress you your interview questions and those things well i wouldn't say they stressed me i think okay. i expected it okay okay because okay. i had watched a lot of videos a on youtube videos. your videos yeah. and others vi okay. videos and, okay. okay um okay. where people have talked about their experience okay. the questions they were asked okay. So I actually um, jot down all those questions yeah, all those and study yeah. everything. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So after I entered, 
okay. um, I, I um, she asked me. The lady okay. actually asked me the same question. Okay. Those questions I was expecting. Okay. So it wasn't intense, I think. But my experience when I entered, I didn't know. I didn't expect that. Um, the lady when you talk about individually, it's like one person is sitting there yeah. and you sit there yeah. and interview so that okay. was what i was actually okay. expecting but okay. when i entered the lady was actually standing yeah. recording something on the that is it. on the yeah. computer and with this microphone so as soon yeah. as i entered what's your motive so yeah, yeah. i was confused who <laughs> was talking yeah, okay <laughs> so okay, that was okay. actually where yeah. i think i was stressed a bit okay but the others um I got the all the questions I was okay. expected. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And for my visa application, okay. I heard back from them in exactly four weeks. Four I went weeks. for my interview on twenty seventh of February okay. and twenty seventh of March. They contacted me to submit my travel insurance okay. and the flight reservation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. That, that that is the usual I think the usual routine. Yeah, because I also received mine exactly four, four weeks. weeks. Yeah. That's wow. really nice. So I have a good news that I'm going to share shortly. Before that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button now and then turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Sure. All right. So the good news is that we are going to have our live stream in the maiden one this May. Yeah, the month of May. And then the dates and then the flyers are going to be soon. Are going to be out very soon. Yeah, so expect that aspect that it, we are going to go live. Then we are going to tackle this interview questions i answered 21 interview questions wow yeah in 12 <laughs> minutes just it was, it was wow. a lot a lot a of lot. questions yeah. Lot, so yeah. i can't wait to share it with them yeah sure. like my subscribers my viewers everyone i can't wait to share that 21 questions Amazing. with you yeah so let's zoom into the funding aspect how did you fund yourself what was the source of funding was okay. it through blocked account obligation letter or scholarship okay i came yeah. with the um obligatory letter okay, okay. yeah wow. Wow. actually my friend is working here okay. in berlin okay and he applied for the obligatory letter for me wow, wow. i was going to ask who got it for you but you've really answered yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. it's a friend how, yeah, how how many years has he worked here it's how long it's a year now a year but whilst he was applying i think it was in his ninth month or so wow yeah, ninth so or actually it was month. less than a year less than and a then year. you could secure sure, an sure, obligation letter sure. for you yeah so it means that the person just has to be a legal resident Reg here yeah. who is working and then working, the pay yeah. slips and everything shows that they can really if he meets the requirements it okay. doesn't take time wow, to wow. issue the obligation yeah. letter so how long did the obligation letter take in two weeks two weeks yeah two weeks <laughs> actually okay. i think i the, he got the certificate the very day he went to oh, okay. the um, immigration office. Okay. It was the appointment day that I okay, think it okay, was okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So the letter is given on that same it's day. The you same go there day. within the 15 day. minutes, you your letter have, is yeah, ready. ready. Wow, wow. Okay, before, okay, okay. before that, they will ask you to send all the requirements. Oh, the requirements. So okay. they will prepare okay. everything in okay. advance. Okay. So as soon as okay. you get there, they you are prepare, going to get yeah. it. Okay, okay. That is really good. That's really good. That's how come you received your visa in march and then you came yeah, in yeah, april. april yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay your, your process was very fast very, 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 very fast, fast. Yeah. let's end this video with an advice for everyone watching who wants to apply to this htw for international management or any similar program yeah well uh, my advice to you is yeah germany is a very good place with a very uh, good educational yeah. system free tuition for sure. all their government schools yeah. so if you are planning to you know or you're looking for any international program or a master's relating yeah. to business courses okay. i will well my advice to everyone out there is germany is a very very good destination for you to pursue your master's degree or your bachelor's sure. degree sure. since the government has um has, has taken care of all the tuition fees for every student. Sure. Um, it's advisable to come if you are trying other countries like the US, the Canada, and you are not coming. You can also look at Germany. And if you are looking for a business program, actually, you can look at HTW, that's HTW, University of Applied Sciences. Yeah. And I think you are going to like it. Yeah. My few days here, I'm liking it already. Yeah. And there's a lot of opportunities here yeah, in Germany, yeah, so yeah. don't stay there. You can contact Francis yeah. on his YouTube channel if yeah. you don't understand anything. I think he has his contact address yeah. there where you can reach out to him. 
come let's all have fun in germany yeah. let's build a very good ghanaian yeah. and african community yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, okay. here okay okay thank you so much thank welcome, you welcome. and then before we end this video let me tell you that this htw this your, your program has a lot of international students a lot. especially ghanaians exactly so exactly. including you i know not less than eight ghanaians yeah, pursuing actually, this international actually we are about 14. wow, wow. 14 it's really good three Ghanaians are even yet to come yet they to are come. waiting for their visa <laughs> approval yeah. and, um i anticipate they might come in two weeks time two weeks time yeah, yeah. so so it's, it's just about applying, applying getting the requirements yeah. and then applying htw as we have told you has a very high international application rates so uh, admission rates admission sorry. Rate. okay so as you rightly said if you're a business student looking for masters in any business field we are recommending htw for you and then it's htw university of applied sciences, sciences right dresden. yeah dresden dresden we are all here and then we are waiting to welcome you so bro thank you so much thank, thank you, you on Francis. behalf of everyone watching us now i would like to specially thank you actually he met me on youtube like sure, i sure. said earlier if, if if you are following the comment section closely he asked that he is in Dresden and then where I am, I sent my address to him and then now we are very good friends. Sure. We are quite very good friends. We are here and then he's sharing very insightful experience with you. So let's meet in my next video and until then, I wish you all the best in your application. Let's meet again. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs>